Hello everyone, it's Mabeli Reyes with Remax Posh Properties. I hope everyone is having a great start to their week um, or I hope that everyone has had a great Monday so far. Um, this video was supposed to be uploaded at 4 or 5 today because that's typically when I upload these videos. But today was my son's birthday and so I had been running around all day getting him his birthday gift and working and taking cupcakes to school for his birthday celebration. So it was just a long day, but I still wanted to bring you guys a video even if it was late. Um, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about the amount of money or the amount of fees that you have to have money in the bank for to cover when you are thinking about buying a home. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The first one is earnest money. So the earnest money uh, is like your good faith money. This is basically you telling the uh, seller, hey, I'm very interested, but I'm also serious. With that fee, then you basically could go under contract and um, the seller will know that you are really interested in that property. Um, the earnest money, again, it typically runs about 1%, but if you are working with down payment assistance programs, uh, that might be lower. The uh, second item is option uh, money. The option money can run anywhere from $100 to $300 and um, that buys you about three days to 10 days with the seller so that you can conduct an inspection to make sure that this home is the right fit. The third item is the inspection. The inspection is not a mandatory cost, but it is highly recommended that you conduct an inspection on the home that you are thinking of buying just because you want to um, know the condition of the home before you actually do commit to buying it. Um, the inspections can cost you anywhere from $300. I've seen anywhere from $300 uh, up to $600 from the ones that I use. Uh, again, it all depends on the inspector and what type of inspections you are doing. It could be a little bit more. The fourth item is the, um, let me think. Oh yeah, the appraisal. So the lender will have, uh, will ask you to have an appraisal done. Uh, typically if you are putting, if you are using uh, anything less than 50% down, they might ask you to have an appraisal done because they do want to make sure that this property is valued at the amount that you are borrowing. So that is a non-negotiable. The appraisal has to get done um, and it is typically an up, uh, upfront fee that they charge you. Some lenders do add it to your closing cost, but again, it all depends on the lender, but that cost can be anywhere from $500 to $800. So just keep in mind that an appraisal does have to get done, it does have to get paid for, um, and it is by the buyer. The uh, fifth item is the down payment. Down payment can be any anywhere from $0 all the way to 1%, I mean 3%, 5%, and up to I've seen up to 20%. So it all depends on the type of loan that you are working with. Um, zero down is basically if you are using down payment assistance programs, which we all in our team work with. So if you have any questions on the down payment assistance programs, reach out to me and I'll give you some more information on those. The last item is the closing cost. Closing cost, um, you can actually use your earnest money and your option money towards your closing cost because it is your money. It just sits at the title company and with the seller until you finalize that loan. So if you are ready to finalize that loan and ready to close, then those fees, the earnest money, the option money can be added to your closing cost. But closing cost does include your lender fees and your title uh, company fees. Sometimes you can negotiate that to have the seller pay for them. Uh, sometimes uh, the seller doesn't want to pay for them, so it is something that's going to cost you. So it's always great to, you know, talk to your agent about those costs. Make sure that you do have enough to cover them. So again, guys, I'm so sorry that I'm uploading this video super late, but I hope that it was very helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me, and I will see you guys next Monday. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys.